Remember that? He came and visited with us. That was kind of cool. Yeah. Didn't realize it was it was Puppy Jake. Great, uh, great event coming up this weekend. What more details? Just check out our website. Uh, very special guest joining us, our good buddy Kim Bear in studio with us, attorney at law. And we're going to be discussing something that in some cases could be a little touchy. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I thought today we'd talk about alimony. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times people don't understand what it is and when it's awarded uh, and whether or not after you've been divorced, can you change it in the future? So first, so, of, I say, what, what, let's start from the beginning. Yes. What's the definition of alimony? Yes. What so does that mean? It's what, when a guy pays a lady <laughs> to make it divorced. I, I, I think that's what a lot of people think, and maybe yeah, that yeah. is the most straightforward answer. That but, is the most straightforward okay. answer. Although, you know, so in today's world, it could be the the woman paying the man. It could be if you've got a same-sex marriage. It could be, you know, the woman paying the woman or the man paying the man. Okay. So it's when a spouse. Um, two spouses are divorcing, and one typically makes more money. I mean, that's usually what you've got to have, makes more money than the other spouse. Okay. And so the court looks to see, is it fair that the spouse who makes the most money continues to provide some type of economic support to the other spouse? Now, is this tied to children, or is this no. completely separate it's from It's completely that? separate from child support. Okay. So, so a lot of times, you know, people will come into my office to talk about getting a divorce, and they know they're going to have to pay child support, and we start looking at um, how long have they been married, uh, how much do they make, how much does the spouse make, and then when we start talking about the A word, alimony, a lot of times people have sticker shock and they say, well, wait a minute, I have to pay this much for child support and now this much for alimony? Now, is this a state by state law or why does this even exist? Yes, yeah, so it's state by state law and and, um, and in Iowa we don't really have any guidelines for alimony. So what we, we have, no, we don't. So so it, it's it's difficult to advise your clients. So what we really do in our in our law firm is we keep a chart of all of the cases that come out and uh, from that are issued from the courts and we say, all right, here's what this person made, here's what this person made, here's how long they were married, and here's what the alimony award was. And what's difficult is it really varies case by case. But why does this exist? Like if you get divorced right. and usually I think by Iowa law, which you've taught us, mm -hmm. it's kind of 50, right. 50 split unless you have a yes. premarital agreement and things like that. But exactly. so why does alimony exist? Well, alimony exists because, you know, you took those vows that said, you know, for better or worse. And let's say, you know, this is the worst you know. part for whoever's paying the better part for exactly. whoever is receiving. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, you know, in our society uh, believes that, you know, marriage Marriage is an institution we want to protect, and we also want to make sure that we don't have someone, you know, let, let me give you an example. Let's say Lou and I have been married for 25 years, and he makes 250000 and I make thirty-five. And maybe I've also been a stay-at-home mom for some of that time. And he now has found the new love of his life, and right. he's going to leave. Well, you know, I have devoted most of my life to this marriage and to trying to keep it together. And it's not, alimony is not fault-based, so it doesn't really matter why you're leaving the marriage. Right. What matters is, is that when we get divorced, you're going to still be making 250 and I'm still be making 35 And so the thought is, is that society wants to make sure that if I've but become accustomed to living at two eighty, three hundred thousand dollars a year. It's not fair for you just to ride off into the sunset and continue to make a lot of money and me to be poverty stricken. Right. So, so this is all based off of a it's pay gap. Okay. Exactly. It's based that's exactly right. It's based off of a pay gap. And in Iowa we have three different types of alimony. A lot of times we don't use the labels, but um, the first one would be um, kind of permanent or traditional uh, alimony and that's kind of like the situation I was just talking about. Mm -hmm. That requires a long-term marriage, usually 20 years or more, mm -hmm. and then we need, you know, a pretty significant income yeah. difference. As I say, where does that begin with the pay gap? Like if it's just you know, a couple of thousand, do you yeah. even no. attempt or does it have no. to be a, a, no. a big Yeah, I no, I, I have seen, difference. Um, in my experience, I have seen courts award alimony when there's about a $10,000 difference. Really? Um, it, that's unusual. That's unusual. I would say when people come into our office, we start looking if there's 15, 20,000 plus difference and that's been the history of the marriage um, then maybe we start looking at alimony but how much are we talking here if, if, if say, say it's a twenty thousand dollar difference how right. much is a oh, person paying out so well again it depends on how long you've been married it depends on we look at property sometimes people can buy themselves out of alimony in other words let's say you and i were married but let's say we were only married for 10 years and you make twenty thousand dollars more than me mm -hmm. maybe um, you say look i don't want to deal with that alimony thing so when we sell the house you can have an extra ten or fifteen thousand or you can and so and we have to negotiate that 
Um, so sometimes it depends on property. Um, if, if we have done really well in our marriage, uh, and let's say we've accumulated millions of dollars of assets and we're gonna get divorced, um, if you give me more of the assets or I'm leaving with millions of dollars, sometimes courts will say, you know, we don't really think she needs alimony. So it's also need-based. So it's first of wow. all, yeah, so we look at the- This is complicated. It, there's a I, lot of factors. I was gonna say, is there a at. formula you pump these numbers in? If Iowa doesn't have specific oh. I rules wish. and I laws. Wish. Well, there's How an do you, app for you to It's develop. like you make yeah. this much, we've been married this many years, boop, you got to pay this much a month. Like, right. No, there really isn't. So what we do is we, we look at, okay, how long have you been married? How much do you make? How much does your spouse make? Um, what is the education levels here? Um, what is um, health? If someone is disabled, that affects it. If someone um, has, I mean, here's what's really hard for people to swallow. If they have mental health issues or they've got drug or alcohol issues and they're just not able to work despite the fact they've had treatment, sometimes that can be the basis um, for alimony, which of course always, you know, is like kind of pouring salt in the wound. What do you mm -hmm. mean, you know, now I have to support them? With well, I was gonna say, I, I mean, I, I know cause. there's definite yeah. causes where the support needs to be there. Right. I, I know there are cases for that, right. but otherwise I feel like this is like how, for Further, can I make your life miserable now that we're getting a divorce? <laughs> like, you need to continue to pay me because right. of A, B, and C. Well, like, and, and again, so if I'm representing someone who, who is going to be the payor, they're the person that makes more money, a lot of times I will talk to them about, as I said, buying themselves out of alimony so we can close that door. The payout. The payout. So How long does it last? Because uh, I know for like child yep. support it goes yeah. until they're, until they're 18, 18, I believe. or graduate from high school, right. whichever occurs later. Okay. Yep. So, so how much does so alimony? Last. Alimony lasts, it depends on how long you've been married. So if you, it's a short term marriage, let's say you've only been married 10 years. Okay. You might qualify for two, three, four, maybe five years of alimony. Um, it just kind of varies. Uh, and again, it's case by case and judge by judge. If you've been married 10 to 20 years, now we're talking about a mid midterm, mid mid range marriage. Mm -hmm. So now you might be looking at, you know, seven, nine, 10 years of alimony. Um, if you've been married, you know, 20 plus years, you're looking at probably lifetime alimony, which in some cases means until the person you die or that person dies, or a lot of times what we're seeing now is we try to negotiate that it ends at age 65 when they can start taking social, social security. security. Okay. What if the other party remarries? Um, so typically in our divorce decrees, we put in there um, that if the other person remarries, um, that it stops. So what you might imagine happens is people say, all right, well, I'm not going to get married. Yeah, you know, just, I'll yeah. just move in. Exactly. If if you and I divorced and you're paying me five thousand dollars a month, and Jeez. now yeah, well, five thousand a month. Well, it depends on how much you make. You wow. Know? So, I, oh, I've, we've done ten, fifteen thousand. No 000. way. Oh yeah, it depends on how much you make. I mean, if you're making half a million dollars a year, yeah, you're going to be paying. Buddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you, I, can you prevent yeah. this with that document you talk about before you <laughs> get a prenup, yeah, a prenup marriage? <laughs> no, you cannot. A prenuptial, oh, no. no, you can't. A prenuptial agreement cannot regulate alimony and it cannot regulate uh, child support. It's invalid with regard to those Oh, now you issues. tell us this. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Prenup wow. only affects. All these rules are popping up after the fact. The prenuptial agreement only affects the property. So, okay. so what you okay. need to know is if you're paying alimony and your ex-spouse has now moved in with a new, you know, Know, lover a new boyfriend girlfriend um, and they've been living together for a while and it's clear they're not going to get married because she still wants or he still wants the alimony um, there is case law out there that says you can say you know what this is a substantial change in circumstance and you can go back to court and ask that the alimony be terminated or reduced um, and so I think a lot of people don't realize that because they think well as long as I d my divorce decree only says if I remarry but the law says that a substantial change in circumstance can be living together. So you need to okay. be paying attention to Keep that. Keep that in mind. Yes, yeah. yeah. And, and then the other ways it can be modified or the only uh, the other reasons is, um, let's say you're paying me $5,000 a month um, and then you get fired or you're in a car accident and you can no longer work. Um, you obviously can't afford to continue to pay me that. So okay. then we typically go back to court for those things. Um, the other downside you need to know, let's say you're paying me $5,000 a month, but I'm working and now I can't work. I can go back to court and ask you to pay me more. 
So wow. mo it's modifiable so on both sides. even though you're, you're writing a check for five grand, it might be even it more. It might be more, which is why we always talk about buying yourself out of alimony wow. and closing That's that door. That's the option I'd go for. All right, friend, something you definitely want to discuss. There's a lot to think about, folks, and we hope you take uh, marriage very seriously. Uh, you know, it, yeah. uh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, uh, for better or worse. For I the mean, better or for yeah. worse. Yeah. You're, you're saying the truth when you say those words to one another. But <laughs> there's a lot cow. of documents that you want to get uh, in place, whether it's before you're getting married or some, if, in case we don't wish it upon anybody, something should happen to your marriage. Uh, you want to make sure you have a great lawyer. And how can they get in touch with you? Sure. Give us a call at 279-2000. Right. So we offer a free 30-minute consultation. Wonderful. Well, I, I do know one thing. After yeah. our conversation today, Kim, in our little scenarios here, I'm never getting divorced. Okay. <laughs> we'll just stay married forever. Okay. But, but we, we, okay. we shouldn't tell our spouses. No, no. Yeah. We won't say that. Okay. That's we, another whole thing. <laughs> but we just play that on TV. Okay. Yeah, right. Okay. 741. We'll be right back.